a lot of people have wondered how have I set up the workspace layout in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you can see, here is my Adobe Premiere Pro layout. This is a clean looking layout and I have set up my layout in such a way so that I can have the exact thing that I want. I don't use all of this stuff in Adobe Premiere Pro and I think you shouldn't have a clutter on your workspace. Just use the thing that you need. So today I'm going to show you how you can have a layout just like this one. If you're using Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 then you will see the workspace area is here. If you want to go to different workspace then you can click here then you can select a workspace if you are editing then you may go to editing workspace and it will look like this one by default and from here you can customize your workspace so the first thing is i have keep my program monitor here and i have keep the lumetri panel then essential graphics panel in the right side so first let's go to window and then you can click lumetri color then it will open here and if you want to have essential graphics then you can also click essential graphics i believe it will also open here so here is our tab where we can navigate through lumetri color or essential graphics panel now the problem with default edit workspace is I'm, I'm not getting enough space for my timeline i want to have a long timeline where i can edit my video very easily but i'm not getting that so to free up some space for our timeline we need to move all this section here so you don't need all of those things you can just click history then you can close it you don't need it i don't use markers either close the panel then i don't use info panel i'm just closing it then libraries i don't use it i don't use media browser if you're using media browser then you can keep it but i'm just closing it now here is the project panel i'm just clicking and dragging this project panel over to the top here when you see a blue line just like this one then you can release it then you will see the project panel is now in the top left corner and also i want to move the effects panel here just release it then here is our effects panel you can just arrange different section just by clicking and dragging here now from this section we don't need audio clip mixer very often i'm just closing it i don't need meta use data i'll keep source panel here also i need to see the lumetri scope for that reason i need to enable lumetri scope and i'll keep the lumetri scope here so when i am working on a project i can easily drag the footage that i need on my timeline here i'm getting a lot of space for my timeline and if i want to switch between different panels if i want to go to effects control panel i'm just clicking here then i'm just clicking for effects panel and if i want to open any clips in source monitor i can just double click on it it will open here then i can just make a in point and out point and drag it over to the timeline right and if i want to color grade i can easily switch to lumetri scope and lumetri color and then selecting the clip i can easily tweak the clip as i need right i think it is looking good right so if you want to save this layout for your future use then you can go to window then go to workspace then you can save as a new workspace section click here then you can name it i'm just naming it james prince then i'm clicking okay so now if i go to here on my workspace section i can see there is a new workspace which called james print if you move the things differently if you make a clutter just like this and now if you want to go to the previous workspace you can just click window then go to workspace then you can click reset to save layout it will make the layout again where you have saved the layout exactly right so this is a pretty cool thing so you can make different workspace as you need if you want to use a different workspace for color grading you can customize it as you want and again if you want to switch between workspace you can make a keyboard shortcut for the workspace and you can easily switch between your workspace so that is all for today i hope you have learned how you can change the layout of your workspace in adobe premiere pro as you need and trust me you don't need all the panels opened in adobe premiere pro just use the panels that you need that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye